Hi everybody, my name is Jen Mulhern and I'm here with the Orchestra Tutor to show you how to unpack your violin, viola, cello, or bass. So as you can see, I've got my quarter size violin right here next to me and I really just want to give you some tips even though it seems like a logical thing to unzip and zip a case, but there's a few important things and features that will help you make sure that your instrument stays safe. So let's start with my violin here. You'll notice that I have a center flap. This particular one is Velcro, but sometimes there's a buckle or some kind of a snap there. Just make sure that you don't rely on that to keep the case closed. Always make sure that the zippers are sealed all the way to the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and open our violin case up and we'll take a look inside. Take the zippers to the back as far as they will go. You notice I'm using a nice flat surface to make sure that there's no wobbling, but if you do use your lap, be extra careful. It is very easy to slip from your knees. So I have a table here or you can use the ground or a chair or something with a nice flat surface so that when you open the instrument, the case usually will just lay there on its own. Be careful it doesn't topple over backwards though. So it depends on what kind of case that you actually have. So here we have the bow, the violin, and some accessories like shoulder rest and some rosin in the back here. So let's talk about the bow first. Usually you'll see two bow spinners inside the case. Some people carry a backup or a spare bow, but if you just have the one, you'll notice that the bow spinner is actually perpendicular to the bow, meaning that it keeps the bow from flopping around. So I'm gonna give that a twist, and I'm gonna try as much as possible not to touch the bow hair. Now I can actually remove the bow. And one of the first steps that you'll learn when you begin to play is to tighten the bow, twisting the end screw clockwise. And I say six to eight turns, but really what you want to look for is for the bow hair and the bow stick to have just a slight gap. I compare it to the tip of my pinky or maybe a pencil. So that's ready to play when it's tightened. The violin itself has a little bit of a neck, I was going to say neck brace, but it's more of a safety belt. It goes right around the neck. So probably your case has either a Velcro strap or a set of ties. Once you have the instrument out and you're done practicing, it's time to pack it up. So in this case, I start with the violin, and the very first thing I do is reseal that little Velcro strap right there. That's one of the most important safety features. Next, I'm ready to loosen my bow. I'm going to give it about six twists counterclockwise. I can look for the bow hair to get a little bit floppy and loose, or sometimes I can just take a peek at the end screw and there is a point where you see it start to separate or unscrew from the stick. So don't go too far. Just remember that you want the bow hair to be nice and loose so that it lasts longer and doesn't get stretched out as quickly. So I'm going to put the bow back in the case. Some bows fit better with the hair down. Some bows fit better with the hair up. It really depends on the case. But in this particular situation, this works best with the hair down. I give that bow spinner a twist. And there it is. It's locked in. It's ready. The accessories sometimes have their own pocket and sometimes they'll fit. Shoulder rests, not always. Some people get a little bag and tie it to their case so that their shoulder rest is always with them. Or you might find a way to sneak it into the case. Some people even find a way to put it underneath the scroll. As long as when you shut the case you don't hear any rattling or loose things, then it's fine. And I also have a little rosin pocket in the back here. So with everything tucked away inside, we can close the case. Notice when I close it, there's nothing that you can hear hitting or touching. So the bow and the instrument and all the accessories are safely away. I'm gonna zip it up. I'm going to do that last Velcro strap, or for you, it might be a buckle. And that's pretty much it. For violins and violas, best points are, look for a flat table or somewhere where your case is 100% contacted with a flat surface. Second of all, make sure you use the safety features like the neck strap and the bow spinner to keep things from moving around when the case is closed. Now, cellos and basses. It's a little bit harder. Your instrument sometimes is as big as you are. So I'm gonna take my nice quarter size cello here and this bag probably looks familiar. If you are a low string player, then most of us have soft cases, not hard cases. Um, with the soft case, I can recommend the very first thing you want to do when you're unpacking. Go ahead and take the bow out. Notice I'm going to go ahead and 
show you that oh, stuck a little bit. The bow always kind of goes tip down, and this way you can grab the frog on the way out and you won't touch the bow hair. I take the bow out first because the bow is a very fragile stick, and later on, when I unzip the cello case and I take it off, I don't want that bow to be the last remaining thing inside the case. So Most of us have two zippers, one on either side, and you notice that I'm actually holding the cello vertically. Now you can set it on the ground, especially if you have a carpet or a rug, and it sometimes feels a little safer to do this with the cello flat on its back so that you can then just remove it from the case. But if you get really good at it, some of us do up unpack vertically because it's a little easier at the end to take the case over the scroll. All right, now the fun part is getting it back in. Getting the cello back in the case um, is mainly an attempt to watch out for this thing right here, the bridge. So as you find your best method to get the scroll inside, to face the bridge forward, this is the side with the bow, this is also the side that has a little bit of extra space for that bridge, and that's what we want to really protect. So I make sure that it's facing the correct direction. A lot of times in the back, you'll see a music pocket to help you really figure out which way is front and which way is back. And either laying it on the ground or vertically, I seal the zipper. Now with basses and cellos, sometimes we see the end pin poke out just a little bit, or sometimes it can actually seal all the way into the case. Um, but either way, once you've got it all in, it's time to put the bow up. We make sure that it's loosened. Put the tip down first. Got a little Velcro strap there, and you are ready to go. But with cellos and bases, my main, main concern is always with that bridge. So when I hold it, or when I set it down, I do so on its side like a suitcase. Never want to set a cello against a wall or a corner vertically. It's almost asking for an accident. So I hope you've learned a little bit today about how to unpack your instrument, and I guess you're ready to start practicing. All right, thanks so much for tuning into Orchestra Tutor. We'll see you next time.